Hi guys, I realized that this video is amazingly long for me, so I will put down in the description box the timestamp to the moment when I start the card making. Hi guys, it's me Olga and today I have for you a really cool video about shakers, shaker cards, shaker tags and first disclosure, all those stuff was sent to me by Snipot, I'm the part of the design team. But if they would not send them to me, I will buy them anyway, because I really like their products. I would not show you or advertise for something that I don't like, because I don't believe that that's fair. Okay, so this one is off the table. First, I will walk you through some products, and after that, we will switch to voiceover Olga from the future. Uh, and we will assemble some projects, at least one example with I, each item that I'm showing you. So we will start with the uh, shaker tag. And I believe that I already have a video on shaker tag. So if I do, it will be here on here. I don't know. In the eye icon, and I don't remember which side of the screen it is. On one of the corners, on the top corner, there will be I icon and everything will be linked down, down below. So if you are looking for those items, I will link everything down below. Uh, oh, as we are at this point, <laughs> if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I know that I have been gone for a really long time but I have been sorting my life out. <laughs> in case that you won't update on that, let me know in the comment section and I will record the video what went down and what, what I changed. Because um, I organized myself. Yeah, I organized myself. Okay, let's jump into the video, okay? So we have the shake attack and I think that it's a really cool idea. It's not expensive at all and you have like four items in your set. You're buying set like that and you have your base tag. That is made from nice white chipboard. It has nice edges. Uh, you know, they are not like all smoked out. So there is not a lot of work that you have to do to make it look presentable. Then we have a tag with the opening inside and in that opening the plastic translucent pouch fits perfectly and it's a little bit raised so you can add more bulky elements to your shakers and we also have two elements to go on top of your tag and I love it and I already use it and abuse it and I love it. I just love the idea how simple it is. You just insert your stuff inside and you have fun shaking elements. I don't know what's about shakers, you know, the glitter and seconds just shaking in your card. It just makes me smile. And now, uh, Snippot, come out with the dice. And they are not only a dice. Oh, this is a big pile and it's bending. It's a whole set of elements to help you work with the, with your shakers. So I will show you them really quickly. They all include die that have basic shape. Here we have oval and the frame. We have ni a nice scallop frame. And we have also translucent pouches that will uh, fit your die. If you want to have something more, if you want to add something extra on top of that, or if you don't have a die cutting machine, because not all of us uh, owns big shirts and cow bags and everything like that, you can also use those ready to go pouches. And uh, each set includes, uh, wait, I will open one for you just quickly. Each one of them includes one translucent pouch and again, the pouch is raised so you can pack your shakers inside. And each one of them includes some elements like frame and another frame. And the frame perfectly covers uh, the edge that you have here. So you can either die cut your paper with, uh, with your die cut or you can just place the element on your paper, draw the shape cut it out with the uh, exacto knife and then just cover everything with the pouch and it's quite easy to do I will show you one without die cutting 
later on in the video so you will see how to manage without a die uh, okay just let me hide this one so with oval we have amazing baroque frame and i love whole collection with baroque elements and probably i will use more baroque elements on the card with this one we have uh, uh, you know like sea life and holiday themed one with some shells it also matches a uh, tropical adventure collection and one with beautiful intricate roses so that's the oval set we have also tiny heart set and we have heart and a scalloped heart we have pouches tiny hearts and we have two patterns one is just a small frame and small scallop and second one has those nice wine things here it would be perfect for the wedding shaker <laughs> except tiny heart we have huge heart and you can see that there is a huge difference in those two sizes this one will fill all your card i think or all your tag and we have dye with really nice lacy um edge i don't know how yeah and all the dyes are in this nice orangey color that matches snippard colors we have pouches again they are nice and raised and we have two uh, shapes of the frame uh, here we have scallop one with simple frame around and you can also use just the simple frame or just the scallop one You know, you can go creative with that and we have really nice one with uh, Lily of the Valley and all the chipboard shapes matches all the snip art collections. So if you want to make like just Quick project or you like the shapes check out their website because there is so many beautiful chipboards there and I think that I will make more unboxing and showing you uh, what what was in my box videos <laughs> okay and the last one the the biggest variety of pouches is with this circle so we have a circle die a nice color with nice color edge around the frame and in each die you have those tiny holes in case that your die die cut stuck in your die you can just push it with the needle we have pouches and uh, those pouches you can also buy separately because they will fit the uh, puncher or the other dice you know those are simple shapes so if you have basic shapes in the matching sizes you don't have to buy a die you can buy just the pouches okay so we have those pouches here and we have decorative pouches with the circles so we have hot air balloon I love hot air balloon we have simple scallop we have nice uh, lacy double frame it's really dimensional piece another one with a little bit more open pattern we have one for the christmas and i love this one it's so nice uh, we have uh, one that matches collection up in the air there was a lot of feathers and compasses and things like that we have kitty for crazy cat lady like me and we have those uh, wines that were um, with the with the tiny heart as well oh my god i love it okay so as i was preparing to record you know like the shaker videos i found two more pouches and they are for sure in the website so i will link them down below and those are two frames i know it's winter but come on it will be here like in the blink of the eye so those are really specific pouches and you can't buy those elements separately i mean uh, for sure you can buy the frame only but you cannot buy the pouch only you have to buy the whole set and uh, why is that because the pouch is as you can see perfectly embossed to fit your frame and they will make amazing christmas shakers and again the pouch is raised so you can put so many fun elements inside your shaker 
I will just wait for the uh, Okay, so we have two uh, patterns of those Christmas shakers. One is big rounded frame and you can see with my hand and here here we have greet is in centimeters so you can size up this one and second one is this big bold heart and again the pouch is perfectly embossed to feed those elements okay so first thing i didn't film for quite a bit so sometimes my frame is weird and i'm a little bit rusty but still wanted to put out the video so for the first card as you can see with the dice i die cut my base and i cut the heart and i also tried out the die with the chipboard itself and i was amazed that uh, you know it took me a few passages yeah, and the chipboard get really flat, but I was able to die cut this intricate frame from the chipboard. So basically, I wanted my frame to be white, and I embossed that. I first try with the embossing pen, but it didn't work so well for me. So I just went back to Versamark and I covered it and embossed it again. And uh, here I'm using white Brutus Monroe powder, um, and it's quite good. I still prefer Ranger uh, Super Fine Detail Embossing Powder. It's more white and. You know just personal preference uh, so I added a few white splashes to my uh, pink element that will be the front of my card and I use craft and you design dies to die cut both my base and uh, the front panel now it's a struggle because I have to put uh, sticky tape all around my pouch and then place pouch under my paper and everything fits so perfectly and it's so easy to work with those pouches uh, that's why i forgot also uh, that i supposed to cut one with the exacto knife by hand so uh, when my pouch is ready i put the uh, sticky tape all around it to trap all my goodies inside and i use face powder to take off the static a little bit from my heart because i will use the micro beads and glitters uh, and some heart shaped seconds and regular seconds and in general i went crazy with the stuff inside those shakers uh, and because I used the mirror cardstock by Tim Holtz uh, to create the background for my heart, I still have a lot of uh, static inside, but uh, thanks to the powder, it's not so much. A uh, little particles still stuck on the surface of my shaker, but I quite like this look. So to have even more shine, you know, more shiny than better, at least if you ask me. Um, <clears throat> I put the pink mirror cardstock behind the whole panel and I trimmed the excess with the scissors. And if I would remake that card, I would not put uh, the uh, mirror cardstock all over behind the panel because it was kind of hard to make a nice crease on the top because, you know, it's like slightly offset die. Um, to make sure that my card is not cut totally through so I don't have two separate die cuts, I just have a card. Uh, and uh, for my sentiment I use my 13 notes letters and some um, alphabets and uh, both of those products are not like super expensive. To be honest, anything that I used on those cards is not expensive. The seconds are from dollar store and uh, the stickers, the mm, high letters are also from the dollar store. So I added some drops because I wanted, you know, like clean and uh, simple look. And then I decided that it's too clean and too simple. And I added those two adorable bears. And it's uh, some kind of uh, ephemera die cut that I had in my stash. I added a few details with the white pen and I was quite happy with that. But if you look at the final card, uh, I had to add flowers because I had one small boo-boo. I touch it with the dirty fingers and I have to cover it up. 
Okay, so that was the big heart shaker. Now the smaller one. Uh, so I put the top layer of my cheap board snip art frame on the paper and I cut it with exacto knife just to have it covered with the same paper that I use for the front panel of my card. Both panels, I think uh, all the papers are Maggie Holmes. Uh, old crate paper. I don't remember. I had them in my stash for a really long time uh, and I really 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 like the color combo. I wanted this uh, scalloped heart to match the uh, paper that I have underneath so I went with a banded coral and then I fixed it with a little bit darker uh, red uh, in memento ink and this time instead of using double-sided foam I use uh, one of my favorite adhesives I replaced totally glossy accent with this mod podge thing I placed my pouch I placed my frame and I put the glue on and then I realized that I have to feel my shaker and at the same time I want to have nice frame around my card so I just put a little bit of seconds on my base paper and then I cover it with the front panel uh, and I struggled a little bit with the front I wanted to spell for you but it looked weird so you know I'm going back and forth with that and um, at the final stage I decided that yeah I will just quit on those letters and I will use something uh, some sticker or some element that I already have in my stash and this happy Mother's Day and uh, I think that the bottom one says you are awesome uh, they are from the same ephemera pack as Bear was and I think that I didn't pay uh, more than two euros for whole bag as well so when I had my sentiment that was in the perfect color match says happy uh, Mother's Day I added mum spelled from the same letters that I used previously and I covered them with the Mod Podge resin, added a few dots with uh, Nubo drops and I call it a day. I think that, uh, you know, it's quite clean and simple but I really like the look and I will save it for uh, future Mother's Day. I think that it just looks really nice and the seconds I picked the really deep raspberry color ones with a little bit of shine and they look so nice in this one. So now it's time for my favorite card from Whole Bunch. I again used a craft and you design dice to die cut the base and the front panel. I placed my pouch inside the opening and I added all the nice shiny things to my shaker. Um, this time I wanted to have more elements and I wanted to show you that you can use more bulky elements inside your shaker. So I grabbed a few of uh, Snippa chipboards uh, from uh, matching collection, from the collection that is matching to the uh, front frame that I choose. It's called Tropical Adventure and I also have a live stream on Snipart Facebook with the shaker tag with using that collection and I will create at the end of the video the second artwork also with this collection because I really like it and I want to use it since uh, we are still in the holiday season. You could see me doing a really cool trick. Um, I put adhesive uh, on my intricate chipboard and then I tap off the excess on the packaging. This way I will not have those blobs of glue picking everywhere but my whole chipboard will be covered. With this dress oxides I colored my frame and I also use them to color um, all the chipboards that I put inside the shakers. I used cracked pistachio, peacock feathers, fossilis damba and serrated straw. It, it's my favorite combo for those tropical vibes. Uh, I separated pieces with the starfish and some um, you know shells. 
um, from another chipboard frame and I just filled all my cart with that. The sentiment said tropical adventure but I cut out the tropical from some kind of reason. You can see me struggling with the sentiment for a while because I used the dirty brush and I get a greenish yellow but then I thought that yeah it will work with the card and actually I love this card. It's, it's my favorite from whole bunch and after that it's the card that is coming next with the mice and yeah. Yeah, so uh, to my coral pieces and to my sentiment I added also a little bit of abandoned color out to the mix and I wanted a little bit of shine so I used my ink, my 30 knot splash ink in the shade iridescent white it's translucent glitter uh, it's translucent ink with iridescent glitter inside so my favorite then i placed uh, my sentiment uh, at the venture and i put the anchor behind it and the anchor is just painted with silver paint but again i'm a little bit rusty so i forgot to turn on the recording and you can see the side of my desk but i hope that you will forgive me um except of this video i recorded like four more so they will come up uh, i think twice a week on my channel so uh, yeah i'm coming back here okay let's move on to the uh, last card for today we will still have tag so this one is quite cute see i use um echo park papers uh, and hot air balloon uh, chipboard frame to frame my shaker i color it uh, with the uh, two shades of purple oxiding um I don't remember colors right now. I will put them for you in the description box. Uh, I'm sure that one of them is belted violet and second one is lavender. Hmm. I don't remember lavender what. Team Holtz always used the two words in the name of each ink um, and I don't remember. It's, uh, it's lavender and belted violet. So I wanted to have some patterned cloudy paper behind my uh, shaker. I used the mix of seconds. I used quite a bit of iridescent one, like holographic ones. They are my favorite. I have no idea how come I can love grungy and heavy stuff and iridescent glitter. And this pouch wasn't so well. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or I cut it off from the material, but uh, part of the seconds, uh, you know, yeah, you can see it. I didn't close it well, so I just added glue. There were no micro bits, so it was easy to seal it back. And I just used uh, the double sided tape to make sure that all my edges uh, are sealed and the shaker will not fall apart. I stick my uh, panel into the white cardstock to make it a little bit thicker because it will be picking outside the card lines. I make it quite tall to fit my mouses in the basket of hot air balloon. I added white stroke but I cut it off because I will fix it later on. I you will not see the white stroke. I decided to go with black because I really like the black stroke and black frame with my characters. Characters are also my stamp. It's uh, one of the previous releases for All and Create, the same as the Bunch of Hearts. I just stamped them with a banded coral. I added sentiment that says uh, we would be lost without you. And I added those cute little mouses and you know they were designed to fly in their own hot balloon. Uh, but I just had them laying around on my desk and I thought oh I will use them with that card and it worked so nice. So I grabbed my sidekick and cut out a few clouds from white cards to, uh, leftovers and I just stick them in the different direction it's a one cloud but you know once I put one side second one I flip it over and I think that uh, it looks so cool it's still quite simple card but 
I really really like it and those mice makes me smile. I added some accents with nouveau drops uh, and I also um, covered the heart with this particular one nouveau drop that have iridescent particles inside and I really like all the soft pastel colors and how the elements stand out. Okay so now time for the tag and I will upload on my youtube channel the live stream for snippet that i did because i did opposite colors uh, in the video and during the live stream i was telling everyone that yeah orange tag will look so nice but uh, i did on the live i did the blue one uh, so just after that i turned on my camera and i said yeah i will add it to the video so here it is um, I went with the oranges, um, so I think that the darkest one is Spiced Marmalade, the lightest one is Sarated Straw, we have Fossilized Amber and wild, uh, Honey, Wilt Honey, Wilted Honey, Melted Honey and the Honey. And for uh, the color accents with the anchors, I use a banded coral. And I really, really like those tags. They are so easy. They are quickest to assemble. Uh, so I just uh, put in my shaker uh, pouch inside. And then, and then I stamped my uh, Sea Adventure stamps on shrinked plastic. And I love using the shrinking foil. I'm, I'm just obsessed with that. So I made few seahorses and they are quite bulky and they still fit the pouch. So they will fit all the pouches because they are the same thickness. A really nice one. You can put uh, larger rhinestones inside and you know, um, I just, I'm just obsessed with shakers and with the products as well. Because you can see that I'm using distress oxides all the time, but they are so so just nice and easy to use and okay I really love the tropical adventure collection combined with distress oxides it was so easy to create those um, artworks with oxides and they work so nice with the chipboards with the white chipboard because uh, you know they blend nicely and I was able to create really really cool vibrant scenes without any effort so here we have a whole tag assembled uh, it's only three elements and it's so easy you put your pouch inside the opening and then you just stick your tags together i took a small boat and um, two palm trees from again tropical adventure collection i put a little bit of white ink on the um on the boat uh, I have no idea how you called it in English. I mean, I know the word, but now I totally forgot the the white part <laughs> of the boat, the fabric <laughs> part of the boat. Um, to color my trees, I used uh, oxide in pelleted paint and a regular uh, distress ink uh, to cover the trunks. I have those uh, bigger elements, the big starfish and the shell from the live stream and I made a rainbow on them and they didn't fit any project. So I just covered the corally part with the blue and it worked quite well. Uh, I didn't end up using them, I think but I'm sure that I will on some stage in some kind of project. So I just assembled my little scene and I was so happy with creating those projects. You know, they are in such a vibrant colors. It's not my usually usual go-to combo, but uh, I had so much fun creating all those projects. And here's the tag that I created during the live stream. So, okay, that's all for today. Those are all my projects. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, have a nice and creative day and see you really soon in the next video. Bye.